Welcome back. This is the Lego Nexo Knight set 30376. Knighton Rider includes 42 pieces. This is a 2018 poly bag featuring Nexo Knights season two. Includes one minifigure, which we'll go ahead and take a look at in a second. But first I'll give you a 360 of the bike which is a little bit blocky if you ask me, but you know, it's got some good redeeming shapes. Also a huge fan of the minifigure included, but we'll go ahead and take a look at that in a moment. The bike itself, as I mentioned, is a little blocky. It's got some crude angles and shapes that don't look too good, in my opinion, of course, but it does have some different techniques and styles that kind of level it out. The tires, work relatively well, although being that they are plastic, you will need a good amount of friction to get them rolling, but when they do, they look pretty good with doing it. I like the style of the trans tangerine with the black dishes on either side to kind of channel the energy. The whole thing is relatively simple in build, however, it does have a good array of features that any other build would have. There's some storage, Weapon storage over here, which you can use to attach the minifigures included weapon. And on the other side of that, it has the ratchet connection to be used and potentially combined with other LEGO Nexo Knights sets. The seating area is probably the best looking of the whole place, the top view. It's got some curved slope pieces that kind of help with the shaping and give the minifigure plenty of room. Then it's got these two triangular one by one pieces in the back, kind of for cushioning or I don't know what that would be, part of the engine maybe. It does have this handlebar which can be angled up and down or to your minifigure's preference, but that's about it for this bike. Now for the minifigure, the Knighton Rider or Patrol Guard. Huge fan of next time figures, even the lowest minifigure has such a great set of pieces, colors, and prints, this one being no exception. It's got that classic Nexo Knight's armor in that shade of blue, which is the same as the hands, that color, with metallic going all through this guy. His arms, his included pike, and even his head. It's a silver minifigure head with printing on it for a face. And this does have an alternate face, which we'll go ahead and take a look at. Go ahead and also take off the armor so you can see underneath the entire figure's print. Underneath the first layer of armor is what remains with our minifigure. Again, a lot of silver, a lot of good shades of blue. I think this looks pretty good. The printing is phenomenal as well. It's got nice detailing, very good detailing in fact very exceptional printing, the King's logo and crest. All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I can't say it's the most respectable Lego build. It's very basic, but if you're getting this for, I don't know, a child or just to collect that minifigure even, and for parts, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Good playability, most certainly a fitting addition to any Nexo Knights realm. Those are my thoughts on this Knight and Rider Lego Nexo Knight sets. However, I'd love to hear yours in a comment. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.